great game on the menu tonight folks between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Baylor Bears. Dick you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper. I tell you what it looks like a David versus Goliath baby but you never know could be upset city if they protect the basketball. You know what I think it's essential to control the tempo of the game. The Bears know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Secondly, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. And lastly, don't get away from what got you here on defense. Don't try and do too much defensively. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They have to start making some crisper passes, Dick. Yeah, these guys are going after everything, Brad. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brad. He goes for three. Goes. They're working around the perimeter. the circle he buries the tray they're working around the perimeter he shoots from left of the circle it's good shows patience waiting for the reset work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart Great shot. Here's the replay. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The center gets the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. The point guard gets the ball. He's money with the shot. So we get another look. Fed the low block on the inside. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And run him right into the screen again. What did I say? They feed down to the low block with a bucket and off the mark. Up and in. Trying to pack it inside. Stolen away. The point guard takes the pass. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Set that screen away. Great play to take that to the basket. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. He'll regroup the offense inside. That has some folks out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Look at that spacing. Moving it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. 
<laughs> Tinsley is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. He is just lighting it up there. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Up and inside. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for contact. Kansas State have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Inside. There he is, strips the ball loose. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Stolen ball. Working it around the perimeter. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Way off target. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They work it around the perimeter. He takes the shot off the baseline. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Long down court pass. Buries it home. This is simply a great play, Brad. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. The point guard with the ball. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. Here's the three ball, way off target. Kansas State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Now they work it around the perimeter. He looks at the hoop. He shoots. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. For two. Can't get the shot to go. He launches the bomb. The Bears have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. That he's on fire. Looking for a good shot. He fires away. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great anticipation defensively. The point guard takes the feed. Get that sucker out of the game, man. He hammers it home. Robert, Robert. Four, two. Dick, 
Think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Turns it over. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Easy one. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Robert, Robert. Four, four, two. Two. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. They work the perimeter. The frustration right there. Up and inside. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense. Half court, pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually on top of the standings because they can play that style. He grabs the board. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Roll that replay ready, boys. He intercepts it. Working it around the perimeter. For the bucket. They're lighting it up from the field right now, Dick. They're in a dangerous rhythm, my friend. Dangerous. Dangerous for the defense if they keep it up. Both teams looking to get things going here. He strips him clean. Here they go into transition. Shooter spotting up on the three. Now the high screen. Baylor are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Lee makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Oh, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He steps up to the line. No good. Way outside. Tickles a twine. Steals a pass. Nice stepping it, man. Take a look right here. Little Bruce to go up in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. There's the trap. Another turnover. And we're not talking Apple turnovers either. 
Got the shot if he wants it. They get that rejected. It's a fast break possibility. For two, drains it. There they come with a double team to stop it. He takes the three, buried it. Goes for the deep one. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. The power forward takes the pass in the paint. Adam, momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Well, wow, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. Oh, what a strip, Red. They get it out into transition. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He got hops <laughs> like you. It is pretty similar. Wow. I didn't realize my partner was a high rise. Picks off the pass. With a long bomb. Gave it up. Outside jumper. That was nice. We got to see that one again. He launches a three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Makes the block. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lead. Anticipating really well. Baylor are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Whistled for the foul. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Misses the second shot. He cleans the glass. They've left him completely alone. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Picked out of the air. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They take it off the defensive glass. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. And now they'll bring it up. Unloads. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Dad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. 
good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Braun, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Picked off. They work it around the perimeter. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Bailey and a chance to make it a three-point play. Yeah, good second effort to stay with the right there. Did a great job attacking the defense. To the charity strike. Routine. Number 50 with the fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. On the outside. Look at that spacing. He shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. Front court. It's stolen. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now. Bad angle. He puts up the tray. The Bears have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Stolen, and the ball goes out of bounds. Mocking the crowd. Now that's from Solo. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. You've got that right, Brad. For two. And off the mark. He takes the rebound. Working it around the perimeter. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Goes in. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Looks at the three. Sinks it. Shot clock is dead. Intercepted. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He looks for three. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Wildcats are trailing by two. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? Hey, Brad, when you look back at the first half, you have to consider this three ball, which set the tone for how the first half was going to go. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Baylor was on fire in that first half shooting from the field, partner. I'll tell you, fire's not the word, man. They were blistering, just burning it up. We'll see if they can keep it up in the second half. I smell upset, Brad. What do you think? I wouldn't rule it out, that's for sure. We've got a team who has nothing to lose and another that has everything to lose. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Looking for the foul. Basket falls despite the contact.
Up and inside. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Way off target. Nice high post screen. Off the rim and no good. Steals the ball. There's a slam. The Wildcats are trailing by six. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jumped in front to take it away. Here we go on the break. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the three. He doesn't get the hoop. On the outside. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. Way off target. Takes away the pass. High post flashes for the opportunity. Sets a screen for his teammate. Well, the defender goes down, but there's no call either way. Wow, no call right there. I think that was a good call, though, by the official. Kicks off the lazy pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes it off him. Now looking to move it down court in a hurry. Puts it up, looking for contact. They work it around the perimeter. He fakes the shot. High post screen. He takes the shot from the baseline. Scorches the net. Look at that spacing. The ball goes out of play. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Got to take some pride on a defensive end. Transition opportunity coming up. Launches away. That was nice. He intercepts it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. They look like they're having a blast. The ball goes out of bounds. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you what, thing that leads you to the exit sign. No question, you get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy, I love that. He launches the bomb. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Gave it up. Executes the baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. into transition trying to draw some contact drops the bucket despite the harm Robert. 
for the bucket. They still don't score. Fakes it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That's a 7 nothing run. He shoots from outside. They let him get into a rhythm. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He pulls the trigger. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think he's very There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Up it inside. He takes it away. They run it up into transition. Baylor are on a bit of a run. Let's see how warm they can keep it on, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. The Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Picks off the pass. On the dribble, gives it up from left of the circle. The Wildcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Brad, he's on fire. He tries the three. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. They work the perimeter. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For two, perfectly executed. <laughs> Step out on that screener. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he was trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. It back out. Trying to draw the foul. He gets it to go. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. Gets his first. the second shot. Gets it. They 
go inside and that and one. Are you kidding me? Hey, he threw that down with authority, baby. Make a statement, young man. Make a statement. He goes to the line, shooting one. That's on the nylon, NBN. Oh, my, the screener is leveled by the defender on that pick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And back they come the other way. And the ball goes out of play. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Fake. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Robert, Robert. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Up and in. He intercepts it. Working it around the perimeter for two. He drains the bucket. Side. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The man is off the charts, Brad. Gave it up. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Nice fake. Stolen ball. Watch this break right here. Buries it. Let's take a look right here. Defensive play, anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Leans in, perfectly executed. Mack 
receives the ball. Will take the shot. He gets it to fall. Gave it up. Picked off. Here's a flash from the high post. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Puts it up. You bet. The partner of this one could go right down to the wire. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Mack handles the pass. And he missed. With a layup. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. The basket counts for the deuce, and they'll send him to the line. He's a meat and potatoes kind of guy, Brad. Was the made basket the meat or the potatoes dip? Hey, that was the meat and the potatoes. Now he's going to the line for the gravy. He goes to the line for the first time. No good. Pulls down the board. Fill the lanes. That's the only way they'll be able to get some fast break opportunities. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Gave it up. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. He's what I like to call a surf and turf, a superstar. Only the special ones get to this level. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. There's the pick. There's the roll. The other way. Easy bucket coming here. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. to hit the floor. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon, nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He goes with a baby hook, and he misses the shot. Mack handles the feed. It's stolen. Jump hook from the low post. Off the rim and no good. He puts it in with contact and all.
Weaver receives the pass. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. The Wildcats have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Looking for a good shot. Almost lost the basketball. He goes for the trifecta. The Bears have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. The Bears are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Up and inside. On the outside. That's a great response by this crowd. What a response, what enthusiasm. You better plug your ears if they get a basket on this possession. Working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Buried it. Time out on the court, so let's go court side. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Aaron's right about that. Looks like we're ready to step back out onto the court. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect him to quiet down, did you, Dick? I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He rejects it. And he scores despite the hack. Think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He gives him the fake. The shooting guard takes the feed. High post screen. So effective that screen. change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Three points is the difference. That's right, so somebody better guard the York. Too physical. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. He shoots from the top of the circle. Better foul quick. Well, Dick, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. 
Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He goes to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the second. Give yourself a chance with a score here. The lead is five. What happens now, Dick? Well, this is where momentum gets swing in your favor or go against you enough to blow your game. Rims out. Look how speed, I'll tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Nick, they got to find a way to regroup. We didn't expect this to happen tonight, and this has shocked me, and I think it shocked their fans and probably their coaching staff. I tell you, it has been shocked, too, but they really executed so well. The underdog really did all the things coaches talk about at coaching clinics. They talk about really putting a stop to the basketball, getting back defensively, stopping transition layups, blocking out. They did all the essentials that lead to winning. Baylor takes the victory, but it was close. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.